Good morning. Welcome to Hope's Devotion on this Wednesday morning, May the 12th. Proverbs 18.4 tells us, A person's words can be life-giving water. Words of true wisdom are as refreshing as a bubbling brook. Have you ever given thought on how your words have a profound, lasting impact on another person? If you're like me, I often ponder and regret hurtful or unkind or critical or thoughtless or even unintentional words that cause pain or bad feelings or stir up hurtful memories. I can apologize, but I can't shove them back on my mouth. They're out there causing harm. It's also hard for me to forgive and forget hurtful or unkind words said to me. So that's the negative side of words, but there's also a positive side. Charles M. Alexander gave this testimony of an incident in his own life. He said, I was standing at a bank counter in Liverpool waiting for a clerk to come. I picked up a pen and began to print on the blotter in large letters two words that had gripped me like a vice. Pray through. I kept talking to a friend and printing until I had the desk blotter filled from top to bottom with a column of pray through. I transacted my business and went away. The next day, my friend came to see me and said he had a striking story to tell. A businessman had came into the bank soon after we had gone. He had grown discouraged with business troubles. He started to transact some business with the same clerk over that same blotter when his eyes caught the long column of pray through. He asked who wrote those words, and when he was told, exclaimed, this is the very message I needed. I will pray through. I have tried in my own strength to worry through and have merely mentioned my troubles to God. Now I'm going to pray this situation through until I get light. Carl, who does Hope's devotions on Tuesday mornings, told me of an incident he had. The message on his phone is from Psalms 118.24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That day, he said someone had left him a voicemail saying that message was just what she needed that particular day. Charles Alexander and Carl did not know the impact their words, written or said, would have on another person, but God did. It's no coincidence that those two people needed those exact words of encouragement at that exact time. We're all going to mess up and say wrong things at times, but let us strive to utter words of encouragement and hope and to follow the Lord's prompting in touching others with those words in times and ways that we never expect. Psalms 19.14 says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Amen.